we start right. the topic. Right. But let's do some updates. Oh, no walking None. Oh. Well, she can come. Did we start? Yes. Come here. You want to say hi? Well, first and foremost. Right, come here. We'll yeah, hi. come here. She can say hi. Hi. Little Bella Bear. Little shy. She's not shy. I am not she shy. She is not. She is a very outgoing, intelligent, oh, no. sassy Now, girl. one more tablespoon is better. That's two. This is three. You want to tell them about the new coffee concoction that we just... It was all my idea. We just got... No, it wasn't. We just got <laughs> some... um. Love you, sweet the girl. Syrup. The vanilla syrup like start the coffee places use yeah what did you find you found it at the i've seen it before but i was always like well it's like 5.69 and i'm like eh, it's for just for free sugar you know but i uh, saw hazelnut and hazelnut is the superior flavor but he's a man he's a, um he's an awesome so i got guy, it I say. and then i showed huge. her and i knew they had vanilla and i knew she would rather have vanilla i'm not a big hazelnut so fan, i showed it to her and i said well they did have vanilla and she's like Yee! and i was like fine i'll get the vanilla but next week we're getting the hazelnut so De bella and i this is bella's idea do you want to tell them or do you want me to because it's really sweet so what did you what are you gonna do i'll tell them so bella came don't up with the idea those. of getting daddy the hazelnut and paying don't for it most and them. i was like no you know because i wanted like to do something nice to bit. like return the favor so we're gonna split it and we're gonna go buy daddy kins the hazelnut because he loves it and he sacrificed for us and that was really nice so this pimple on my forehead phenomenal like wasn't it's there so good. this morning when we decided to do the video, it popped up right before. It's like, oh, did it really? Video? Yeah, it wasn't there this morning. Is it like one of those like? Or at least was it, it wasn't there last night. How about that? It, oh. Like two two thirty in the morning, it wasn't there last night. <laughs> yeah, I'll he tell was. You that. Oh my gosh! So, our you know our cats, guys, our crazy loving cats. Well, they so. just have attachment issues. Is there, 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 <laughs> we're what's all it called? Anxiety. Time. Yeah, we're always around, and you know, people are like, "Oh, cats aren't like they don't miss you." Oh, yeah. No, if you give them the proper amount of attention and whatever, they're just like dogs. Like our cats freak, especially if I'm gone. Like she was in the bed alone and I was in the garage. So yeah, you meow, went out meow, downstairs. Meow, 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 meow. Well, okay. So first, to start, I start hearing, and I'm like, shoot, Bella's gonna get up. Then I'm trying to go to sleep, and it was a little bit of a harder lung night for me. Um, for, I have, like, major dust allergies, so I was She's mucusing. Got minor like lungs. Crazy. Minor mucusing. lungs. All the time she spent mining. <laughs> mining. That's right. So I'm mucusing, trying to fall asleep, and Inky, he, so I fell, I, I fell asleep. And then he comes in, jumps on me, wakes me up, tries to sit on my chest. So I, no, then fall back asleep. Eventually, because he's a stubborn old man, comes back, <laughs> tries to sit on my chest, and I was like, all right, I can't do it anymore. So I tried to, like, pick him up, and he was just like, <sighs> like, he was pissed. So then I felt bad, because Winnie was circling, and she was freaking. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to spend some time with them, because they're freaked out, because she's downstairs, downstairs. Oh. And um, so I'm petting him for a while, and then finally I'm like, all right. So Inky got the boot on top of Bella, and our cats need therapy. <laughs> like they need therapy. I walk in there at two thirty, and Winnie is curled yeah, she, up she directly on my pillow. <laughs> she made it in. Then when I, I then her. when I give her the boot, she meows and wakes her. I'm like, oh. Well, then I you came in and I was like, that cat. Yes, I had to hear about it. Wasn't I was too, left to bad. deal with it, but hey, you know it's a cat life, right? Um, it's a cat life. So, so, yeah, first we're back and again. Foremost, I'd like to say that I don't like it as much when we, like, I like when we have organic ideas and we just start talking about them on the spot because I just feel that's, I don't know, it just feels more like not rehearsed. Not that rehearsed is a bad thing at all. No. I, I don't know. This is my preference. I also realize that it's, not as polished like sometimes you sit there and you're like oh and i'm like oh, and then you think and uh, but anyway this we had this conversation last night I, we started watching yep one of the chap uh, the church we go to does ch revelation they cover revelation chapter by chapter we started watching one and we got about 30 seconds yeah, in a thousand year and rain. dave <laughs> got said something <laughs> And I think, because I'm always the but one. But we trickled this away yeah. from that. I'm so always, it's not even it's about, not about revelation, that, which is I'm funny. I'm always about, I'm always the one. And it, it doesn't take long to be like, that sounds like bullshit to me. Yes, you are. Or, um, he is very much like that. 
and I'm not. It's not questioning well, not God. Well, not bullshit. Actually, you're just concerned. Like you're yeah, confused. I'm like, uh, like you, you're like more of like, well, I'm kind of questioning because it doesn't completely make sense. Actually, well, that's what it is more for you. And I think I think not the, a like, lot of people way. do, but some people are uncomfortable either voicing it or maybe even thinking about it because they think God's going to smite them. True. Which is not the case at all. God mm. welcomes respectful. Like he will wrestle with you. Oh, as in yeah. you know Jacob was it Jacob. He right. did it with me. Yeah. He's done and, it with you. I think um, he does it with all, Adam. You, as long as you don't do it like a dummy. Adam. Every yeah. Actually, I think um, that's what he wants from all of his children, to be and, honest. Uh, so don't be afraid. Because you see a lot of things that other people say, for starters. And even some things in the Bible where I'm just like, that doesn't make sense. And and further, like a lot of times right? we talk about it or talk to someone else or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, you know, I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh but every so often, I'm still not convinced, and then I, you know, go down the rabbit hole of conspiracy. But that's another for another day. Yeah, we'll keep it's it not. It's kind of a thing. joke, but yeah. So I don't know. We got in the garden. Well, you know what is funny is, can I just say this no. quickly before, and then we'll pray, um, oh, yeah. if you don't mind. I love to. Um, because this is sort of what I do before I um, either ask for, like, wisdom or before I try to speak on the Lord's behalf. I try to do, like, a little prayer. But last night, um, I was vacuuming downstairs. And I, like, had this quick prayer. And I was like, Lord, you know, like, I was praying for, like, I want, like, wisdom and discernment on, you know, some of these questions that, you know, and things that we had had in the Bible. I was like, I'm ready for it. Like, I want to hear your truth, like your wisdom, because there is a lot of like hidden treasure. In and that. I've been harassing like, her about the Garden of Eden for a while. That. You know, like if you ask and your heart is like willing to you keep- receive that and you want that knowledge, you know, that is the beautiful benefit of having God and the spirit in the Bible. So I did that last night and then we started watching the Revelation video and then this beautiful idea that you had um, I think well, with the Lord it might be beautiful. It, well, I mean, I feel like the Lord laid it on our heart and gave us wisdom and discernment on it. So um, let's pray first, so we can make sure that we're getting the word from the big man. The bird is the word. The bird is the word, right? Bar, and then you can. I'll let bar. you go into it because he sort of. You want to come? Oh, I love it. Well, first and foremost, we want to thank you, Lord, for the ability to do these videos on your behalf. We do these for you, not for us or any type of fame or whatever. We just really want to speak your truth, your authority, your words. So please, um, through the Spirit, just give us the wisdom and discernment to guide this discussion so we can help everybody, you know, understand the truth of what you want to have us know. So, um, and, and bless everybody who's watching this video. We appreciate it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Okay, amen. let's do this. So, I, for some time now, have been just curious, not critical, I would say, but, well, depending on what type of mood I'm in, I suppose. <laughs> I'm You're a, little, a curious, I'm a little man. raunchy, I'm more like, I'm more willing to call bullshit, but... It, well, it, let's. I'll go like this. It started out with me, me just like really, really. They got kicked out just because she ate an apple, and it's like, well, <coughs> what's well, the 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 tree of knowledge, you know? Right, and so they all of a sudden they learned about good and evil and realized shame, and it's like, yes, yes, okay, okay, but I I like to just try to think more critically. And for, let me also preface this by saying this could be wrong. I'm always open to hearing people's information that I can um, take in and digest and recalculate and see if I'm wrong. Right. Um, this is just what you feel like the spirit has led you. Yeah. Sort of. and, and that's why we're doing it is that's what we feel like the spirit has led us to like, say right. these things. And of course, I mean, but, I could get new information but, and right. I could consider it and, it, and change. I could still be right, but, which is most likely the scenario. <laughs> anyway, so I could be wrong. This is Sorry, not. Don't true. take this as is. Yeah, it's just what we feel like the spirit me, is saying. To, to me, it yeah. makes more sense. Right. So it's like okay, that's the answer, and obviously I, there's probably some symbolism there. Did she really eat an apple and then just all of a sudden get enlightened, like a scene in the movie where she's like, oh, and then it's like, 
you know, and she's like, I know everything, and runs over to, because that's BS right off the, that's BS right off, BS right off the what? bat, because if she did that, she ain't no way she's running over to Adam, because if all of a sudden she was smart as a mofo, she'd be like, hey, Adam, and she'd be like, ah, you know, I'm like, I know some shit, you know, yeah. you know how humans are, and she'd be hiding that shit. That's funny. No, no, but anyway, um, it just, it. Just, I don't know. I, you would, I don't know what you want me to tell you. It's just plausible. But I was like, is there more? Yeah. And um, so, and I wish I remember what prompted this. Like, what we were, how we, you know, got to well, this. Well, I think we were talking about just like, um, in general, like Adam and God wanting to like hmm. walk together oh and i was how telling he her wants to do that with us yes like, i was telling her this day. Well, i think and we'll get to that why not so that's sort i get of it how i it remember started. thank you thank you're you you're welcome i remember that again i think through society before i got started reading the bible and all this i got the impression um from other people who, who probably maybe didn't read it all or just regurgitated it as well that you know you, you know what you hear like oh god's all loving and He's, you know, he is super knowledgeable. You, you, you get all these things. He's super smart, but, but at the same time, he, he made Adam yeah. as like kind of a companion to hang out with. Yeah, that's why he wanted to make and children. He, he did. It said in the Bible that he walked. They walked the garden and they spoke. So I have to assume that God didn't just want a dummy. He, he obviously exactly. dispensed lots of knowledge to Adam, but mm-hmm. also conversed with him. Again, that's an assumption, but I think it's a reasonable one, right? Yeah, and it was um, knowledge, but it, remember, it wasn't the one right. of like the because bad and all that no, stuff. No, especially it was, like, it's just good. You know, knowledge. hey, that's a right. tree over there, and whatever. Intellect, yeah. all that good stuff. Uh, and and I also garden, um, it was good. And I'm also going under this assumption because you have to understand that a being of that intelligence is going to be supremely bored all of the time. And what I mean by that is think about something each one of you out there know incredibly well. Incredibly well. As in something you've done forever, like tying your, whatever, you, it, you, you know you get so bored. It's almost painful sometimes, you know. So you look for any type of way, So which is why, to spice things up, which is why I believe, you know, was one of the reasons God made humans and gave them free will. Because if you're super intelligent, you always know what's going to happen. But you right. make a being, and you give them the ability to enact their own decisions, so you don't know what they're going to do. Now you can maybe guide them, or or you are God, so maybe if you need to, you can intervene directly. And, but you yeah, know because it's In God, general, so you can do whatever. Think of how think of how exhilarating that must have been to him after. Just the insane amounts of just probably frustration and boredom. I, and these are big assumptions, but I can only go by what I, I can. Then you know. I feel like through the spirit, we've been led to kind of believe reasonable. that Again, that is somewhat reasonable, reasonable, actually. So I know I'm going on. And you've got to think about free will. It's a choice. Yeah. I know I'm going on So you know here. some choice. I guess but the, you don't really is, know, right? right? Because free, you, you can make the choice. So I'm just. It gets a little interesting. <sighs> I'm but anywho, just, so we'll go back to the point. I'm just here. I'm just trying to, to to make a quick case to prove right. that I believe they watched the garden. It wasn't just God talking to a dummy. I mean, he God wanted to converse. And it was a little bit longer than maybe you know. Yeah, like and, I, two, and, three, and I and I think it, it was a relationship. Yeah, it was, was a relationship. Growing. And then Eve and entered the picture and a child. Yes, and that's what this is. People. So call, that's what we want to get to. Uh, I yeah, and I never understood it fully, which you might say is dumb. But sometimes you, these things just go over your head because of assumptions, societal assumptions and whatnot, but it really is, he's our father and we're his yes. children. Um, but I guess I used to just think of it as he made us and that was it. Not as in like, I'd father my daughter and teach her things every day. Yes, and, and that's and, what we're gonna make the comparison. And, yeah, to. so, and that's a big thing right there with what my theory is. So my theory is that it wasn't just the eating of the apple that got, God so worked up and gave him the boot. That was like the final one, right? The final, like straw. final straw. I think that was, and I don't necessarily even think it was in exactly. bite of an apple. So hear me out. I believe so that. So let's go back. Yeah, you're going to go back to like your parent child thing. Yeah, I believe back. that, you know, Adam and the Lord and then uh, Adam and then um, Eve 
would spend time with the Lord and he would mm-hmm. teach him things. And like yeah. any other child, um, they asked questions. And as they got older, and, and, and I think everybody will get what I'm saying because everybody... <laughs> They themselves, every single one of you out there, either have children when when you were about that age, getting of the of age, you thought you knew everything, and it happens with every, every person in the world, pretty much every generation. I did with me, every race, and we were talking every, about this with our daughter last yes, night, actually every, a little bit, because I right because we were saying how I did and how like right. kids do. In it's general. almost like it's ingra- like, it's yeah. almost like it's ingrained in, in us. Yes, right, sweetie. We well, all do. A cue for you to come yes. over. Yes, so, well, I did. So um, and we all do that, sweet girl. We all like think that. So I think as Adam and Eve got more mature, however long that was. They started it slowly at first to get a little like, well, Lord, what about this? Can we go over there? You know how when children grow, that's what they do. And they start to push. There's no reason to suspect a relationship was any different than maybe a normal one was. And uh, you could say, well, God knew this or whatever, but whatever. So maybe they're like, well, can we go over there? And he was like, no, no. Can we, you know? And so I, I think, that's what kind of precipitated this. So let me just take a quick sidestep. I also think this is when you enter the devil. The devil starts chirping in Eve's ear. She runs to Adam. Not at first, but like, I don't think he was just like, go to the tree of knowledge and break the cardinal rule. Exactly. That, yeah. I, don't, I yeah, think that's he was I'm like, psst, gonna try to hey, listen. Psst, hey, go, go ask Adam about this right and maybe it wasn't anything big the first time maybe it was something small so that so she Isn't that how to, it normally goes yeah though, so maybe like brothers and sisters and or whatever yeah kind of so you talk traffic, she talked right? to adam and adam's like oh yeah yeah yes. i wonder if we can go over to that side of the garden where maybe we we don't go <laughs> right. whatever and so you go to god and, hey god what's over there what's about this and god's probably like oh uh well, this is why this is this and yes, this and this. Right. And of course, exactly. it's God, so he's not dumb. And, and you know, <clears> well, <throat> this is a different video. You could argue that, well, I personally think uh, the devil is obviously God made him, so he's God's tool. He uses him. Yeah. So oh, of course. He probably knew all this was going to happen. Right. But he anyway. controls him, technically. So actually, I think so. Uh, conversation after conversation, exactly. day after day, week after week, month after month, however long. Yeah, we don't know a time frame. Um, Adam and Eve got more into that. Well, I know everything. What am I phase. missing too? Yeah, like yeah, well, what that's is part holding? Of it. What is that's getting held back? As you get older, you want to you want to start experiencing what am I more. Missing? Oh, why? Like, why I want to go to college. Yeah, wanna... why is God holding this back? Like, hmm. well, it's not even that. It's partially that. Yeah, and it's partially. I just want to go out and, and experience explore, things. But also that, like, hmm. And so that was part of the temptation. God obviously is not dumb. So twofold. Right. So you got the devil, like egging them on in two ways, and you've got their own natural. Yeah, yeah um, that's what I meant. Just them flourishing into adults kind of growing right again in whatever time lag that is back then i'm not saying it's the same t- same yeah we don't right we don't know you the, get the idea. Line, but it's just the idea so i think god you know they were like what about this and they got a little more uppity and uppity as time went on and god you know and they were getting whatever. chirped at more and more yeah, and, and you know god right? was like well there's still the temptation and, and again, of the he's serpent not, he's, he's not just gone yes and he's not dumb so finally um i don't think there was necessarily the bite of the apple. I think it culminated in a family argument. And maybe the devil gave Eve a tidbit of information that was something that just God knew definitely. He knew before, but he definitely knew that this bit of information was not originated in the minds. This question, if you will, did not originate in the minds of Adam or Eve. And so when they posed it to him, he was like, oh, okay, okay, you know. He was like, "What? either what's going on here or enough. And they were like, well, you're not letting us, you're holding us down, man. <laughs> or he's like, and they're like, what about this? We want to know what's out there. Yeah, what are you exactly. hiding from us? Or you can yeah. picture this scenario because each person who's watching this, I'm sure has either felt that way or has yep. been through with their kids. <laughs> And um, then 100%. God was God was probably like God, like a good parent was probably like you don't want to. It's hard out there, and I think a big argument don't, ensued. Don't do it. Like yeah. don't take that. He's knowledge. like I, I I love you, you guys. I want, want you it. here. <laughs> and I finally think God was like, okay, 
okay, you you want it? Are you sure? But then they and, had to, but they took the bait. And, and, um, you know, and that's why it says, the bait. because I was sort of curious. You know, there was a twofold. Yeah, so I was sort of curious in the Bible exactly. why it was like, he called for Adam, and then, you know, they, well, we were, they were shameful, and he. Well, wait, do you want to say, so before we, so they, you know, they took the bait, and the apple is kind of like a symbolism. Yeah, for, for the argument. For knowledge. It was, well. For yeah, that they, knowledge. Well, they That asked, they ended up. And it turned into not, an argument. Remember, they weren't supposed yeah. to gain that knowledge of, like, the evil. He didn't want him to, he loved him so much and didn't want him right. to experience and the bad God, world. Right. right, like, he still is doing that now. Like, right. It's that is who he is. Like he loves his children. He never wanted that to happen, and then he found a way to make it work after that did happen. It was but, hard, but, yeah, but so, anyway. so anyway, the knowledge thing, right? Yes. So they took the knowledge, which was well, they just, wanted it. They wanted. Yeah, they the wanted. They didn't it. take it. True. Because how could they? How could they? You're right. They, they, they wanted it. Argument. Yep. Happened exactly. And because it always in the Bible when I read again, this isn't a huge thing, and maybe you can argue, but I was always like, well. They did the absolute, supposedly forbidden thing and ate the right. apple, but he was like, well, okay, here's some stuff, and you get the boot now. Right. I mean, I, yeah, that could happen, but doesn't it make more sense where he's like, fine, fine, the argument happens. He's like, you want to know. And you've been doing this all along, guys. And here's he's like, your track it's record. It's been building up. You've been, been, you've been asking up more here. questions. You're getting yep. older now. He might even be like, you're getting older and now. You, he's and like, then fine. you disobeyed me. Because you did take it. Well, I don't it. even know if it was disobeyed. I just think they or, just were kept asking and demanding, and well, finally he the, had enough. The, the serpent sort of did do the... Well, but the serpent was telling Eve, I think, yes, and then she to did, chirp to Adam, and they yes, could chirp. Yes, and then they did decide And they to said, go well, we want to know. Yeah, so, it was so two, um, it's twofold. Yeah, so, it, exactly. so then God was like, yeah, that's like, correct. like a parent who was like, okay, well, because uh, you know how that is. It doesn't matter if it's a parent, a friend, even a stranger trying to warn you of something. Everybody's got to experience it for themselves. It's very rare, like the old saying goes, a smart person learns from their mistakes. A smarter person learns from other people's mistakes. That's pretty rare. So he finally like was like, okay, okay. So he gave him clothes. He, he did whatever. I'm sure yeah. he did whatever. And he was like, look, look. You know, you're grown-ups now. You want to be grown-ups. You, you want to see what it's like. Once you go out there, yep. you're going to you're gonna make it or break it. Well, and there's always a price to pay for disobedience, yeah, right? And yeah, then they absolutely. Disobey. You know, they did, like because you if said, you and don't, then they took that bait, too. Right. Because whatever, if you would have let them back know. in, then they would have never learned. But and, and once we did that, too, that's when the, like, sin sort of, like, we were now not... No like in that perfect state so we had to yes. actually he sort of did it as like a favor because why would we want to live in a garden now sinful and kind of a mess well, like just, he wanted us to come back perfect i just right? think you know? i just i just think it was the time was over exactly the time was over they well were it, it was it wasn't it just, just ran that. its course no when the devil was chirping yeah once they I, and that was a I sin also think so they, they that's themselves. where the whole like sin did yes. happen so we have to make sure that that is clear it wasn't just like that. Like that was yeah. that was a rule. And well, I think the R something in the argument broken. maybe was an actual sin of them questioning him or just they maybe they did something. Whatever. Well, they no, they took the knowledge yeah. that he didn't want. And well, I don't that think they took it. I think they demanded they, to know. Well, yeah, so he, they he were said, tempted by it, yes. and they, they did decide to do something it. like again. This is this is a, a, a loose theory and that's what I feel formulated. like. Which, like I'm yeah. getting to like make sure that that so, point is still out there because from that, like from what you said is true, and then from taking that sin. Yes. That caused the sin now forth that we all live with. And that's why we are out of the garden. But there's a way back, even right. now, before having to go through, you know, the new, like, heaven, new earth, all that kind of stuff. The way back right now is through Jesus Christ. Yes. So we but need to make sure we're that that gets there. But I'm going to let you go. Um, and I'll end it with that. Does that sound yeah. good? Well, this might be the going. first of uh, many videos because... This kind of leads into, so we're out, you know, we, we left, we said our goodbyes. Because it's not like he seemed furious at the end. He gave him clothes. No, and he's still not, I mean, what So did he do there was an argument, and he said, fine. He said, okay, well, so you're going to see what it's like. And, you're, you know, he's probably like, you're not going to like yeah, it. Yeah, now you're going to have to. Because when you get out sin. there, you don't live in my perfect garden. So you're going to you're right. gonna encounter lots of sin, and you're going to sin a lot. And the devil is going to be really I can't tempting pretend, you, because you know? the devil yeah. does roam this earth. So, so there is that. So now you're really getting chirped in full time, right? Now, remember, I think that God uses the devil uh to test us um 
And I think that was because God, remember, God made his godly race, Adam and Eve. They were him. You know, he made them and breathed his DNA into them and obviously made Eve from Adam. So it's the same thing. So the devil, though, needed his people. He needed his way, his, his to fight, to, to test, to whatever. Yeah, so we won't go too much into No, that. But, but I'm saying this is going to be a multi-part series, Yeah, I when believe. the Lord so, wants us to yes, do it. But so I'm we're just not going to do anything so, until, No, just a preview. Yeah, so they got yeah, out. Just want to make sure. And then you have Abel and C- enter Abel and Cain. And what happened to Cain and his punishment yeah. was the start of it all well and that is sort of known but, in a way anyway but, but we'll I, get more detail but we'll get into more that, detail so. but yeah so when the lord sees fit because we sort me, of go um, based off of like, yeah let right. me know did it did i cover everything yeah that was perfect actually and that's what i think it leads into now jesus wasn't there something else no. i came to the realization of no that was pretty much it and then we kind of then i kind of chirped in to this whole like thing of like so getting out of because we don't want to be in the garden anymore as like sinners and diso- you know and obviously disobeying god so it is kind of it's a blessing in some ways because when we because we don't want to stay in that state so now right now until jesus actually returns and takes us up and we get our new resurrected bodies and and we're with him we we can still have like a little piece of that newness in that garden well, you, follow his, you follow his you follow yeah and you follow so we, the, we believe laws. so you know we accept jesus really very easy right you know i'm a sinner i need your help i believe holy spirit right. and that is really what the holy spirit is it's like a mini little garden that we walk in with jesus and he you know accepts you know he it's, we're allowed to be humans and he is there for us and he makes us new again and he tries to help and heal us and through the spirit we can actually connect with him and, and God. Call, call yeah, we walk with him, actually. It's just like walking in the bubble of the garden, but only now in just individual life. It's our own little... It's not little, quite the same. It's not the same because you still have the I don't even care about, I don't even care about the right. garden. I'm talking about being able to but talk I, to him face to face. I'm just trying to make it like... Yeah, like That's a symbolism yeah. of it. It's like a little mini garden inside of us. It's not like, you know... What, the perfect whatever because we still have our own thoughts we still have to contend with the devil and the world and everything but through the spirits you know we we yeah. can get that peace the peace of god and we can get that like connection of his wisdom and um and his help and all those things just every single day moment by moment it really can be like that what and I that think, is something that i yeah. have really learned yeah. i think in the last like even month two months you know because like the relationship grows so i just wanted to like because i think that was that's important because you're, you're playing yeah. the piano there I'm, <laughs> well i think so it, just, you know, well, I think you it ties get, in. like that's the hope well i think that's the, story, the blessed hope and god wants to walk with us well, i think he wants it, to walk and talk with yeah, us well i think it works <laughs> because remember um oh well they ate the apple and got kicked out you know and then I'm like that. That that's I guess that's plausible. But right. with, the way I think it, it makes more sense that we were grow Adam and Eve were growing up. The time there was coming to an end anyway. It was almost like teenagers getting ready to go into the real world. They demanded. Sort of. They demanded sort it. Of. You know, I'm just sort simplistic of. way. Yeah. They demanded it. Maybe the argument, something to that nature. Um, so God let them on their way and remember the end goal. He he wants new heaven, new earth. That he wants correct. us to be there, but he wants you to be there if you're a believer and you followed. You just have to be to a believer. To the best of your abilities. Yes. So, it's not perfectionism. So, but, what, but think about that. We we left home. We left the garden. He gave us the rules. And he said, before you can come back, you need to practice my rules yeah. and believe in me. Because well, this fits in, right? The rules didn't come. Well, right, but you get what I'm saying. I'm it just was being more loose. of like walking yeah. with him, and, and so, then eventually, you know, there are certain things that are important to grow up. By. Well, think about it. what does he yes. want us to do the first before it we was come always back? Just being with us, right? First. Well, boy, what does he want us to do? I just want to make sure do? that's known. Yes, what does he want us to do before you come back? Um, you know, he wants to make sure we've grown up. You follow the rules and do what's right. That's why he's always talking about being righteous to the best of your ability. And he doesn't want again. That's why I sort of jokingly say, in a simplistic way, that life is a douchebag test. 
Because when you go back up there, he doesn't want to be around douchebags, and no one else does too. So uh, you just want to be up there. It is. It's a douchebag test. Well, I mean, to weed yeah, out the douchebags. In some ways, or just so, to, it's just a choice. But that's really what it is. Right. It's, it's a, a choice. Test. It's a choice. Uh, um, I mean, you can yes. say it in your way. It is a choice. Yeah, I but, say it in my way. But um, we all. So have what happens ways. is, is you, we <laughs> got out. You say, "Well, I believe." <laughs> You live the way he is kind of prescribed in there to the best of your ability. <laughs> um, and then at the end, yeah, you get judged. And he's like, well, you grew up. Welcome home. You grew up. Welcome home. Well, you, how was it? Well, right. You probably get to sit down with him and go, well, but how was it? Technically, we're still even doing it right now. No, but, but I'm saying at the end, home. when you die, you yes. say, but that's what I'm saying. Yes. When you finally, maybe you get to sit down, each person, and, and he wants to hear your single experience, even though he knows maybe he wants to hear or your whatever. experience. Well, there's going to be lots of things up there. You but, know, we're going to be doing but ruling I bet you can, and like, raining, and yeah. there's all sorts no, of... We, no, I mean a more personal... About, oh, in a personal way. Like, because yeah. think about it. We left it. Yeah, He's like, well, I see what you're saying. You mean it. He's like, it's like, well, I finally get to come okay, home and I'm, visit, I'm feeling it. visit dad like you you come home yeah well we do come back home and you're like and he's like well how was it and you're just like why'd you make it so well, hard you know, what'd you do i had to do this i'm fine he listens to you it's bitch so funny because you know i was going over because you know obviously god has many names right you know there's like yahweh god lord i mean there's like oh there's tons of names so father and i was like i wanted to know i was like what is your favorite name to be called like what do you love the most and it was literally father that's that's literally what it is and you're and it makes sense after gain i mean gaining all the the wisdom that we feel like the spirit is leading us to say and obviously you know we always get you know we're like a rebuke rebuke if we're on the wrong path because we don't ever want to speak out because that's his god you know that's his word so if we're, if we're wrong you're gonna have you to know. explain that to me sometime like, rebuking because i never i get a lot of it now i never i never get it so I don't, right I don't if you're not like. getting rebuked you're not getting loved i don't know no, uh, I'm, no I'm, I'm joking there's nothing <laughs> to rebuke joking. me over so. right so plain and simple <laughs> and after just knowing that personal relationship and knowing that the things, the wisdom that we feel like we've gotten from the spirit, it just makes sense. It's just a father mm. and, a, and children. And we are called children of God. Yep. So it's great to think of that relationship going forth really in that, in that type of way. So let us know what you think. Am I a moron? Have I maybe, uh, am I on to something? Is someone else had this theory and I just didn't know about it? I'm guessing with 7 billion people on the earth, there's just no original theory. You know, I, that's kind of way I look at things. Well, I mean... I mean, I, someone else has maybe... In or maybe some somebody way, else through the spirit has gotten some other little tidbits too, you know, or maybe just have, has an idea. Like, you know, just has an idea maybe, in general. Maybe one of the other... It could be many different ways. Think I'm full of turds? I don't think you're full of turds. Could be wrong. I mean, hopefully not. But eat it, come I on. feel like... Eating an apple. Eating okay, the uh, apple, you're getting kicked out. Come on. Well, it's not just, it is. I know, but you get what I'm saying. It's, well, the apple is a symbolism. Like, everything is fine. The Listen, because remember. And it, I don't want. That I gives want, women a well, bad name, on, too. Because we want to make sure that it. It, it is it is. I know facts. symbols. I get that. I'm like, joking. Yeah, about. okay. Because you don't want to confuse think people. Think about it. You're okay. So, the, well, think but, about this yeah, about I women. Think, like, the women was good. dumb and got tricked by the snake and ate the apple and got tired and kicked out. It's like, let's give them a little more credit than that. Well, thanks. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, so yeah, we ended up making another video pretty freaking quickly. Um, like I said, this kind of came from, from last night and then we asked the Lord cause we always ask him, you know, like what, you know, if you wanted us to do he's this, like our, he's and, like our producer. Yeah, you know, he is the producer, he's the man in charge. So yeah, we got the okay. So, well, you know, we'll be back with some more videos. Spinach and stuff. Mr. Oh, yeah, we got parsley. Let's go feed Marv parsley. Because he looks like he's yeah, so we're gonna go check parsley, He looks like he's guys. foraging around for some food. So, we hope everybody had an awesome day. Pray us out. Peace out, yo. Wait, gotta pray Ooh. us out, yo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All righty. Dear Lord, thank you for the ability to make these videos for our tens of viewers. And thank you for, uh, I guess, you know, we handed me down this little tidbit yeah, of information. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's right. Maybe it's just me coming up with it on myself, my own. 
And no, I'm trying to. Th- I don't. Do. I don't think I have any type of subconscious no. reasoning that I've made this up to make myself feel better to justify one of my viewpoints. Mm-hmm. If I have, okay, you can rebuke me. I think we're good. Um, but either way, we welcome yep. your critiques. Yes. And we appreciate everything you've given to us. Yes. It's, we just don't realize how well we have it. Not even close. And uh, we uh, are looking forward to hearing from you, actually. And hope yeah. you have a great day. And making Jesus more videos. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yay, parsley time. Because I'm curious to see yeah. if he likes it. That's what our 34 minutes, our shortest video. Oh, but that's what he wants.